we're back here at the GSL CODAS. We have another sick nerd baller. We have the cast. Ness T. The sickest nerd baller that there is in the whole there entire is. world. Yeah. This He's is actually, cool. we're about to watch the greatest human in the world perform his art. Yeah. You guys are actually blessed to see He this. was like walking in here and like some nerd was like, Ness T, will you sign my autograph? He like punched the nerd in the stomach like so hard the nerd turned like he vaporized. He vaporized. He like turned into dust. But he was touched by Ness T, so that's fine. Like, right before he turned to dust, he was like, thank you, Nesty. And his energy is not even going to go into the universe like everyone else's when they die, actually. Nesty just took his energy. Yeah. He's part of Nesty's energy now. Yeah. Nesty actually has a suit made out of money. He has so much money. He's like, make me a money suit. Yeah. He's like, but that's quite expensive, sir. And he's like, make me a goddamn money suit. <laughs> that's true. He has a trophy-shaped backpack. Because he gets trophies he just, so often. He's always winning stuff. Yeah, he has to. Yeah. He's already going to BlizzCon, him and MVP. One of them well, is going to win this sick. GSL. Let's just, be, let's just be honest with ourselves. One of them is going to win this GSL. Okay, it's not DRG. I'm sorry. DRG will eventually get a GSL. But it's going to be like when these two take some time some, off. Some like, weird, irrational fan like, got really mad. He's like, that's not true. I it's it's just going to happen, man. This is like if, if uh, you know... Uh, Bomber is Hercules and Zeus is MVP. Nesty is like one of the titans that like made Zeus or something. You know, this is Nesty is the Big Bang which created the universe. Oh okay. wow, that's actually what he is. He has Nesty all that power inside of him. He's a merciless god. His brain is made out of muscles. Oh my god. And knives. And let's just say his brain is ripped and very sharp. That's true. He's he's the smartest. He's like already so good at Starcraft. Player. He has a tightrope walk to his booth. You would be so good at tightrope walking if he cared to? Yeah. If this guy was in a jousting tournament, he'd win it. He he's would. He's never joust, he's never ridden a horse. He would win the jousting tournament. He is actually so good. Him and MVP right now competing for basically best player in the world. I know he's ranked second here on our um, GSL. Oh, that doesn't matter. But the, the fact of the matter is that they have the same number of championships as MVP. Yeah. Same number. Look at that sick nerd ball. He's like, I better get my knuckles warm so I can punch a nerd in the face. That's right. I don't know why those two things correlate. I have no idea. My mouth is like really burning. Well, he I wants put too much hot sauce on my pizza. He wants to uh, cauterize the wound immediately so he doesn't get blood on his hands. Yeah, that's it, Tasteless. That's, that's what, what he wants is. to do. Here's some other guy. Anyways, on about next team. Yeah, next team is actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true, Tasteless. That's very true indeed. Look, if Virus can win this, I will be blown away. But the problem is that next is actually like a god. Well, Vir Virus can't win it, man. Nesty has all the antibodies. You could inject it. This is actually... Nesty's never been who sick. saw the movie Contagion, actually, how that story would go down is they go and beg Nesty to be injected with this, with the, with the disease in Contagion, and they inject him with it. Probably the needle breaks. They can't even do it. They have to make him breathe it in. And then his body just makes antibodies, kills the disease... And then they have the antibodies, and that's it. That's actually how that movie would have gone with Nesty. If I'm understanding this all correctly, if this was the movie Outbreak right now, Nesty would be like the guy who like actually solves like where the virus came from, and then he actually has to, he's also the guy that goes and captures the monkey. Listen, that had Nesty the virus. knows monkey calls. He'd be like, blah, 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 and the monkey <laughs> would run over and up around Nesty's body and perch on his shoulder. He'd keep the Outbreak monkey because he can't get sick. And the Outbreak Monkey would do things for him, like get his paper in the morning and clean his dishes. Just imagine if you had a monkey that would bring you beer. It'd like open it with Nesty, his monkey hands. Yeah, you could do that. You could absolutely have a monkey that would bring him beer. Open it right up. That's it, the be monkey price. brings him a beer bottle that has a non-screw top on. Nesty opens it with the monkey's eye socket. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey's like, rah, rah. <laughs> It's like your skull is also a bottle of <laughs> Nest he can make anything do anything, man. The magic he can perform? Are you kidding me? 
David you know, Copperfield uses mirrors and ropes and stuff. Nesty makes stuff actually disappear. He's actually, he actually has real magic. It's he's the a, thing. He is actually a Z fighter. He's actually that good. You know, you know Sailor Moon Tasteless? Nesty uh, yeah. is Tuxedo Mask, okay? Oh, I haven't watched Sailor Moon, but I'm sure what you said was funny. You know Zoro? He's Zoro. Zoro. Zoro leaves his mark? That's actually a, a sideways end. No, it's a Z for Zerg. Oh, yeah, but it's also a sideways N. That's All right. true. Head to head. Speaking of letters in the alphabet, this is the GSL Codex with Nesty, the favorite, up against the underdog, Virus. All right. <laughs> Over here in the upper right. The best Zerg in the world, perhaps the best player in the world. I am nasty. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's what it sounds like when he thinks. <laughs> he actually thinks in that voice. <laughs> All right. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that too. Look at those He's like and stuff. Look how one of the elbows goes in the wrong direction. <laughs> He's double can jointed. Do that. He's double jointed every joint. Who's in, tasteless? In the, the victim. <laughs> Virus knows very well that he is. Excuse me. He's the underdog here. Um, but he's got to try his best. That's all you can do. Uh oh, we well, got Zerg music playing in the studio. Yeah, bum 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 bum. That's what it sounds like. Oh, okay. It's actually like Nesty on his crazy bongo drum. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. He's like not smiling or anything. He's like <laughs> looking with fury at the nerd. He's gonna like if he's to be sacrificed before he carves a nerd a nerd's heart out on top of a sugarot. <laughs> yeah, man. Absolutely. That not because he needs to again. appease any gods. But that's Look, actually just like what he does. His overlord's actually cued into a triangle. Oh my god. He's Looks actually like making it's the, the Triforce. Force. Yeah. It's the Triforce There's of power. no way Link can ever get it because Nesty's guarding it. Listen, Ganondorf is like a Nesty fan, okay? Oh, he is. He like holds the Triforce for Nesty. I don't care if you have the Master Sword. Nesty will break that with his hands. All right. Looks like he went for a fast expansion. Confident that Virus would not do any cheese or all ends. Looks like Virus will go for Reactor Hellions into expand, most likely. That's a very common build right now. Actually, with the placement of that factory, I'm not so sure. You guys can't see it, but I can. Nesty's drone in hot pursuit of that SCV. It'll probably catch it eventually because Nesty's drones are quicker than normal drones. They are. They have like perfectly shaped teeth too, because Nesty could afford to give each of his drones braces when they were kids. Oh, it is going to be reactor tellings, anyways. Um, Tasteless, you know how Zerg is like controlled by either the Overmind or by Kerrigan or whatever yeah. through the mind. You know, I I think in Heart of the Swarm they have to change the story a little bit, and like Kerrigan is just no longer an issue. It's actually Nesty controlling it, and they're like Nesty. Is he infested? It's like, no, actually, he's a human that controls the Zerg <laughs> with his mind. Is he a ghost? No, no, no. No, 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 no. He's not a ghost. He doesn't have psionic capabilities, but he's so smart that he controls the Zerg with their, his mind, and they do anything he wants. That would be so hilarious. Like, I'm playing the single player Heart of the Swarm, and Kerrigan's, like, not even in the game. Like, nobody cares anymore. <laughs> it's, like, all about MVP riding around in a battle cruiser, like, trying yeah. to fight an ST one day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would totally play that single. Player. I would. Oh, okay. So, looks like we're gonna have two factories. One making blue flame, the other making just hellions. And this is going to be a very, very aggressive. And it's actually a smart build. This is a really good build right now. I don't know who of you happen to watch Arena of Legends, that little online tournament, casted by our code A guys. But uh, in the finals, Green King took out DRG uh, three or four to one. I think it was four to one I saw. Uh, and it was with builds like this, where you just make a quadrillion Hellions and hope to God they didn't go Roach. Nesty is making a Baneling Nest. 
So this is uh, this is actually might work against Nesty. We'll see. Yeah, no, the the strategy is a brilliant choice. It's a great choice. Nesty is making a little round of lings right now. I wonder what he's going to do with this. But uh, this is definitely a build capable of taking out a player like Nesty. Absolutely, man. I think this is probably the best build he could have picked, actually. Yeah, I think this is, for game like, one on dual site, I think this is a perfect choice by Virus. No question. I'm really impressed by his choice here. So we do have a lair on the way. A starport on the way, in fact, for uh, Virus. So he's going to be able to drop as well and probably get a Viking to clear out some overlords. Nest T, not aware of how many factors he has, of course. <laughs> now, a lot of this is going to boil down to when Nest T uh, realizes that how many Hellions are coming at him. Because yeah. the difference between having a few seconds to react or um, having to react on the spot is actually huge. He's going to have to use every little trick because he is he does have just some Banelings out right now. In fact, he's walking them across the map. Oh, no. He's walking oh. back. Uh, but a few little tricks with Banelings, like leave one or two on top of the ramp, leave one or two behind the mineral line. You know, just leave them in places where you know the Hellions are going to run to on a move command. Yeah. And they are going to be more successful hitting. So, a Medivac is on the way. This is actually going to be so hard for Nessie to stop. Nessie has only two Queens. He's making his Spire now off of two base. And when he gets that up, he can stop the Hellion Harassment. But the Hellion Harassment is going to hit before that. In fact, we have another factory going up, which is really smart. People have been okay. using mech more and more in this matchup. And even ST has fallen to it recently against uh, Gumiho in WCG Korea. So, this is going to be a ton of Blue Flame Hellions both dropped in the main and attacking. I think actually Nesty might lose right now, man. Yeah, he definitely might lose this. His Spire's only halfway done right now. This is as scary okay. as you can get. The Ling got into the base. Yeah, so. it sees what's going on completely. Okay, here we go. Get ready, get ready, get ready. The this Hellions is, moving in now. This is going to be really hard, man. Uh, oh! Oh my god, Nesty's a superhuman. Nesty right. the superhero saves the day, but a Blue Flame Alien drop in his main base. A lot of Blue Flame Aliens, the drones lining up. Oh man, and they are right. getting toasted. Nice uh, split there, Nesty. Oh man, this Whoa, is death and destruction. Alright, alright, let's look at the damage. 43 drones and 44 SVs, that's a lot of damage. 10 drones on the way, 3 mutas on the way. Uh, you know, he's not dead, but Nessie is definitely, definitely, definitely behind right now. Uh, I'm trying to find anti-air. Oh my god, Armory and Engineering Bay going up right now. Uh, if Nessie goes straight to his opponent's base with these mutas... <coughs> excuse me. He is going to have a timing to do significant damage. So we will have to see if that's what he's going to do. He may be chasing around Blue Flame Hellions quite a bit. And if Virus can get him to do that, that's huge. Engineering Bay is going to finish shortly. Okay. We got a drop coming up over here. Um, oh, that's brutal. Remember, man. these Hellions have already been softened up quite a I mean, uh, these drones, excuse me. Oh, and he surrounds all Nesty's units. Oh, my God. Units. Uh. I'm like holding Man. my breath right now. Ooh. Nesty losing unbelievable amounts of drones. He is down but, to 40 uh, still, drones. Still ahead in supply, just slightly. Yeah, that's true. It's actually kind of impressive. 28 workers killed so far. That is that is grossly huge. 21 drones in production. <laughs> He's like, whatever, I'll remake them. Um, that's difficult though, man. Uh, Virus is looking great right now. With his three factories up. He's building Thors. He's got missile turrets in place. He's even got a decent set of Vikings to help stave off any mutilous harassment. In the meantime, Nesty taking his third. I, um, we saw him stop that initial Hellion attack, which could have actually cost him the entire game. It was actually pretty impressive. He just, like, looked at the Hellions and, like, opened his mouth, and he was just like, Aah! and, like, the Hellions just exploded. Yeah. It was quite a roar. He's basically Xerxes and Leonidas in one. He is. He is all that is evil and all that is honor. Ooh. All right, the well, mutas. Oh, man. There's some blue flame hellions. Po gonna poach some drones, Tasteless. And, um... 
Well, that was a pretty successful attack. Yeah. The, the, the problem is, you know, he's doing a lot of like, damage over and over and over to Nesty, but the problem uh, is, is it enough? I mean, Nesty's pretty good at bouncing back from stuff. He is, but the third base for Virus is going to be up now. We're having a lot of siege tanks made. More and more Vikings actually being made, which is... He's uh, opting for Vikings instead of when we saw Gumio do this. He used uh, Ravens with uh, Seeker Missile against Muse. But, you know, mass Vikings with a few Thors mixed in is going to work as well. A lot of factories. Is the Muta faster than the Seeker Missile? Uh, yeah, I believe it is. Great. Oh, by the way, people tweeted us. It turns out it was uh, Last Action Hero, the guy that has the glass eye. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, nerds. Add us on Twitter. I'm Artosis. He's Call Me Tasis. At GOM TV. All right. Nessie's got great creep spread on the map right now. Again, with the Blue Flame Hellions coming in here. And, you know, these attacks keep doing damage pretty significantly. Yeah. But uh, each attack seems to do slightly less. We do see a lot of upgrades going down for Roaches right now. Looks like Nesty is going to switch full on Roach. And, I mean, that's as good a choice as any right now for Nesty. His Mutalists are not going to do anything against seven Vikings and four Thors that are out. 78 drones and 64 SCVs. And, you know, Virus, he's, he's really on a great route. Everything's really working out for him. I, the more I look at the way Virus is playing this game, Nesty has to figure out exactly the unit composition that Virus is playing with, and I feel like he has to go Ultra. He has to tech to Ultra, not Blue. Oh, Blue. Ultra is definitely the way to go. Yeah, when there's a lot of Thors and Vikings, that's an Ultra, an Ultra day. I gotta say, Virus is definitely holding his own against Nesty. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, this is this is one of these very new strats against Zerg, and he's doing it well. He is. He's playing a good game. Nesty's creep spread is out of control. Nesty taking the gold base. Yeah, Nesty no is movement decided. here for Virus. Nesty has decided this map looks better in purple tasteless, so he's dressing it up very quickly. Maps always wear the color Nesty wants. It's one of the only ways to impress him. <laughs> A lot of Lings and Banelings on the way. Interesting. We have seen Nesty before go mass Banelings against <laughs> Normally he's way ahead though, and he has maxed out before our Terran, but that's pretty normal. Even he's though actually the Terran so got good. Ahead. He's like Nesty's he's like, I'm only gonna make Thors, and I'm like, this T or Zerg. He's like, you're goddamn right, I'm Nesty. <laughs> and then Thors come out of an egg. I'm like, what? <laughs> wow, this is. And then they roll like Banelings. Like imagine, actually, think about how funny that would be. Imagine yeah. a Thor rolling. He like just gets in beetle position, like when he's in the medevac, and he just starts to roll. Oh my god, that would be funny. Caseless, we have an unbelievable amount of Banelings. An unbelievable amount. But Nesty is going with only half of them right now. His other half is behind. He's got to be really careful here. Oh, he got his army uh, separated. We have 51 Banes, 33 Roaches, and 8 Mutas against an army of 17 Hellions, 4 Thors, 13 Vikings, 14 Sea Chanks. Uh, this on paper looks like Virus crushes. I'm not sure what Nesty's plan is. I don't know. I think Nesty might be in trouble. Well, it looks like... Virus was not sieged in time, and Nesty says, "You make one mistake against me, oh my God, and Nesty you are just dead." Killed, like the sickest army I've ever seen. And Nesty up 187 to 126. Who can stop? Like Nesty's computer this explodes man. because he's so good. Like the computer can't process it; it's like too much on it. Like starts to catch on fire. Well, uh, I think now this game is basically over. I mean, <laughs> well, Nesty is certainly in a nice spot, Tasis. When you lose a mech army, you're never going to get that same mech army again. You know, it's just not going to happen. And Nesty is taking additional bases. His creep continues to spread. Huge amounts of roaches. He's now getting burrow and just upgrading everything. Still no hive, though. I would love to see him go hive. Well, wow, he's actually just going to end this game right now. Yeah, he's like, all right. You had your fun. You killed like 40 drones. Now I'm gonna kill you. Well, Nesty, every time I see him, I can reaffirm the same thing. He is hands down the best Zerg in the world. I mean, there's just uh, absolutely it's, nothing else. It's not, he's not even really a Zerg player, but he's something else altogether. You can't even compare him to anyone else or anything else. He's a superhuman in every way. GG. And uh, I mean, if that doesn't convince you of the majesty of his majesty, Nesty, Sir Nesty, Archduke Bishop, 
of Windsor. He's like a mafia nerd, man. He like chops nerds up after he kills them and feeds them to pigs. He's like the mob boss that does his own killings because he knows that the cops can't stop him. Dude, he is actually so good. I mean, you can see it with Virus. He's like, well, I don't actually know what I did wrong. I killed well, like 30 drones. Here's what you did wrong, Virus. You got paired up against an ST. That's actually the case. You dropped the ball virus. That that TVZ would have killed many a Zerg. Well, you know, it's just so funny because I saw him losing all these drones, and I'm like, wow. Um, well, so many drones go down. It's like, well, that's pretty terrible. But Nest he, uh, you know, puts in the parabolic equation in his head of how to refill his drones while making units and defending and does it perfectly and then makes banelings and crushes. Uh Virus did make a big mistake there, though. He was unseaged all together at once. You you got to be ready when you have a mech army. It's like so. Well, you can yeah, you can special. never be caught. You can never, never be, be caught, caught with your siege. pants down. And he sieged up as soon as he saw that army coming, but it was already too late. You are already near the creep. Nesty's too quick. He's too smart. He's too handsome. He's, He's too much too of a good, baller. He's too Nesty. Yeah. Eventually, Nesty starts to own so bad that he actually takes the name from the company. Did you know Nesty can run a four-minute mile? What? Nesty can run a four-minute mile. Oh, I think you were actually serious for a second. But, in fact, you are being serious, so please go on. <laughs> yeah, I'll just let you know. Nesty's actually that good. Yeah. Nesty actually just, like, goes over there and, like, takes the nerd's head. Just, uh, just, like, crushes it. You know, he's he, actually that he good. won the Boston Marathon. I didn't know that, but now I But uh, he finished it so quickly that no one was standing there waiting to see who was going to win because they weren't expecting people in yet. So Nest, he uh, donated a testicle, actually, for charity. Did and it wasn't that hard for him because he's made of balls. <laughs> Look at that. I, like, cons I like, had that one come in my brain. I'm like, it's time. It's time to say a balls joke on Golem. Once someone tried to shoot Nest in the head and he head-butted the bullet back into the gun. And the gun oh, that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty good, Artosis. <laughs> All right. Can a virus do it? I don't think so. Once someone know. tried to step on Nessie's glasses and the foot broke. Oh my god. Well, think about those glasses. He, like, he sees the world how it actually is. Wow. That's actually what those glasses are. Like, his vision's there. actually fine, but he has magic glasses that let him see what the world actually is. The only thing beautiful I mean, virus, to him he's is just, he just, he just has a hard time reading. <laughs> Next map, Metalopolis. All right, the game is loaded, so get ready for Nest T against Virus. Zerg versus Terran, the best Zerg in the world against one of the best Terrans in the world here at the GSL Code S.